Hello everybody, my name is Natalie and today I'll be showing you how to wire plugs and switches, blunt version. So first step, you're going to want to go on Tinder and find you a man who looks like a pretty good electrician. Um, so no, those weren't it. However, yes, I did find one. That is the one. Look at him. Isn't he handsome? As much as I would love for Mr. Nelson to say that that is the case and that it would be okay, unfortunately, that is not true. So I will be showing you how to wire plugs and switches today. As you can see, there are lots of things you need to do this. However, it is really not that complicated. So let's get into it. So today I will be showing you how to wire a plug and a switch. And I will also be presenting to you my own transformer, an electric meter, that's three fingers, it's fine, and a fuse box. So let's go ahead and describe what those are. As I looked for the transformer, everyone stared at me. However, I did end up finding the transformer just outside my house. A transformer is a passive electrical device that transfers electric energy from one electric circuit to others or multiple. So, here is my electric meter. I gave it a little pat on the back and it added a number. I don't know if that's normal. <laughs> so, an electric meter is a device that measures the amount of electric energy consumed by a residence, business, or electrically powered device. In this case, it is a residence. So here is the circuit box, which I confused for a fuse box, and that is the main switch. And then to figure out which switch went to like my bedroom, I just turned them on and off to see when my light in my bedroom would go off, and it ended up being that very last switch. I was a little worried I was going to break the house, but I didn't, I didn't, we succeeded, and we figured it out, so... A circuit breaker box or fuse box is an electricity supply system that divides an electrical power feed into subsidiary circuits while providing protective circuit breaker in common closure. So now we're going to get into showing you how to wire plugs and switches. So some of the material you're going to need is some wire and I used 14 meter wire which is what is commonly used for changing plugs and switches. And then here are some wire nuts that you're going to use to tie in your pigtails. And then next I have um, the actual plugs and the switches, as you can see there. And then I also have a multi-tool, which has pliers on the very top of it. And then wire cutters with the wire gauge meter. And then it also has wire strippers down in the bottom, so what you can cut your, or strip your wires with. So that is a pretty cool tool. And then you're also going to need a flathead and or Phillips screwdriver, preferably both would be much, much, much easier. And then finally you're going to need the actual box that the plug and the switch goes into. And as you can see, the bottoms were pushed out so the wire can go through them and into the wall. So here is the wire um, after it's been cut. As you can see, there are two black wires and then two copper wires. And then this white wire you can actually cut if you would like to. And then you would just put a wire knot on them to mend them together. However, I just kept them together because they would still be together anyways. So those are all the wires and they are already stripped. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So here I am stripping the wire. I'm putting the wire inside of the 14 gauge hole for my wire strippers. And then after multiple attempts, because I'm literally weak, I only bench two marshmallows. Um, but after a couple of attempts and like minutes and minutes and minutes of getting it, I finally got it and it flew across the room, but um, we got it. So you're going to take your two copper wires, which are also called ground wires, and you're going to twist them together. I attempted to do them with pliers, but either I'm too blonde or it just wasn't sufficient. So I switched over to my fingers, but like, dude, you gotta have some tough fingers to work with wires, like... They were not meant for me, my dainty little fingertips. But that's besides the point. So you want to go ahead and get them together, and you want to make them tight. Um, which is exactly what I'm doing here. And you could probably do them a bit tighter. And then you take the excess of the other wire, and you cut it. Wasn't that satisfying? <laughs> and then I took my pliers, and I made the end into a loop so it could fit around the screw. So that's along the lines of what it should look like. 
Once you have the wire looped, you're going to take a flat head and you're going to screw that screw in. That way it will stay in place. So then you go ahead and loop the black wire as well, which is actually also called the hot wire. Like me, that was my nickname in high school. And then you screw it in. As you can see, I did the same thing with my other hot wire. And so all three of my wires are screwed in nice and tight. And then this is the fun part where you just push all those wires in there, make it look like it never happened. Just like my ex-boyfriend back at my old school. So then you go ahead and you screw it in with a Phillips screwdriver. And that is how you do a switch. Not the kind where you switch your sibling out for your cousin, but the kind you wire. So moving on to the plug, as you can see my wires are already stripped. And right now I am taking the two hot wires and I am tying them together. And you want to try and make sure that you're tying them around the same so that way their ends where, the, where they are stripped will be pretty close together so that way it's easier to wire nut them. So here that is. And then this is where you're going to have your first pigtail. So you take another black wire from a separate set and you are going to, as you can see, I line them up. And then you're going to go ahead and also tie that one in. I'm a little out of focus here. Yeah, that's real professional. Anyways, that's along the lines of what it should look like, maybe a little bit tighter, and you want them all around the same length so it's easy to wire nut. So here I am wire nutting those three wires together, the three hot wires, with a wire nut, and you want to twist until those things are tighter than your ripped jeans. Am I right, ladies? So then I took my pliers and I turned it into a loop so it would easily fit around the golden screw, and here I am screwing that in. That looked like a struggle. <laughs> So next I'm working with the white wires and I am twisting them together as well to get them ready for the pigtail. Make sure obviously that they're around the same length so it's easier to put inside of a wire nut. Same thing, same thing. But there it is and now we're going to add the next wire. So here we are adding the next wire onto the pigtail which is what we're doing now. And we're lining it up so it's super easy to wire nut. Perfect. So now I'm wire nutting the three white wires together. Takes a lot of twisting. Honestly, my thumbs hurt after this, but we got it. And then I'm looping the end of it to go on the screw. So I looped it around the silver screw. That is not the right screwdriver. Um, and then I went ahead and screwed it in so it was tight. So, newsflash, we're doing the exact same thing with the ground wires. Here I am struggling to twist them together and trying to line them up so it's easy for the wire nut. So then go ahead and add your extra wire to make the pigtail and have them all nice and lined up. And then we are going to wire nut those until they are tight and it will look something like this. So then I made a loop with the other end of the ground wire and I screwed that in on the green screw. So just like the switch, you'll push all those wires inside because it's got to look pretty on the outside, even though it might not look so pretty on the inside. Reminds me of some people. Um, <laughs> anyways, there's your perfectly good plug to charge your phone and whatever else, I guess. So I placed the screen here to make sure that everyone knows if you burn your house down from this tutorial, it is not my fault. I did warn you that I was a blonde. Thank you for watching.